today on Rappler. Manny Pacquiao will undergo surgery for a shoulder injury. A survey shows 51% of Filipinos think they're poor. And Britain's newest royal baby has a name. Hello and welcome! I'm Ayi Makraig. This is Rappler's Rap for the Day, a list of the most important events around the world you shouldn't miss. Boxer Manny Pacquiao will undergo surgery on his right shoulder. An MRI done Monday afternoon in Los Angeles confirmed the need for surgery after Pacquiao aggravated a torn rotator cuff injury during the fourth round of the bout he lost to Floyd Mayweather Jr. by unanimous decision. Pacquiao suffered the injury during a sparring session for his super fight. The Nevada Athletic Commission says he may face sanctions for not disclosing his injury earlier. Pacquiao advisor Michael Kahn says after consulting with a team of doctors, Manny and Jinky decided that it's in the best interest of Manny's long-term health to have surgery which will be done at an undisclosed location. Doctors say Pacquiao will be sidelined for four to six months after the surgery. Dashon Johnson, one of Pacquiao's sparring partners, confirms the lawmaker injured his right shoulder during training camp. Johnson says his sparring partners, including myself, were asked to go home a few weeks out before the actual fight, which means a lot of work he could have put in for his fight was brought to a halt due to the fact that he could not spar really anymore and didn't want to miss it up more than didn't want to mess it up more than he already had. The NAC sent Rappler a corrected version of the Mayweather versus Pacquiao scorecards that have gone viral after erroneously showing the red corner where Pacquiao was seated on May 2, winning the fight on all three scorecards. The NAC also sent copies of individual round scorecards, which are collected after each round for an official to tally. This explains why the handwriting for each judge's scorecard is the same. What happens now after Filipino maid Mary Jane Veloso's 11th hour reprieve? The legal process on Veloso's case begins Friday, the first hearing day of the preliminary investigation. Veloso's lawyer Ismail Mohammed says if the preliminary investigation finds enough evidence against alleged recruiter Maria Cristina Serio and others, the case will proceed to trial and Veloso's testimony will still be needed. Ismail adds, if Serio and the rest are found guilty, the Veloso camp can request a third case review in Indonesia. But a third review could be tricky since Indonesian law normally allows for only one. Ismail says the lawyers will work with the Indonesian authorities to determine legal options. The Commission on Elections, or COMELEC, is considering buying 100,000 new vote-counting machines for the 2016 presidential polls. This comes after a Supreme Court ruling threw the COMELEC into a crisis by nullifying the contract of 82,000 malfunctioning machines. Newly appointed COMELEC Chairman Andres Bautista on Tuesday stresses the need to pursue automated elections. The COMELEC will need 14.5 billion pesos or almost $325 million to purchase the new Precinct Count Optical Scan or PCOS machines. Bautista says COMELEC has a budget for the new machines but will subject the procurement to public bidding. 51% of Filipinos consider themselves poor. That's the result of the Social Weather Stations, or SWS, survey in the first quarter of 2015. The percentage is only a point lower than the December 2014 rate of 52%, or 11.4 million families. In Luzon, the number of self-rated poor families was at 44%, down from 45% in December 2014. In the Visayas, numbers went up to 70% from 65% and to 62% from 60% in Mindanao. In Metro Manila, the rate fell to 31% in the first quarter of 2015 from 43% in December 2014. 
The self-rated poverty threshold refers to the lowest monthly budget needed for households not to consider themselves poor. In Metro Manila and the rest of Luzon, it's 15,000 pesos, while in the Visayas and Mindanao, that's 10,000 pesos. Britain's new royal baby now has a name, Charlotte Elizabeth Diana. She is also known as Her Royal Highness Princess Charlotte of Cambridge. Kensington Palace makes the announcement on its official Twitter account Monday. The new princess's first name, Charlotte, is a female version of her paternal grandfather's name, Charles. Her second name is from her great-grandmother, Queen Elizabeth II, and her third, a tribute to her late grandmother, Princess Diana, Prince William's mother who died in a car crash in 1997. You can click on the tabs below to go to a story in the video. And for those on smartphones and tablets, the links can be found below the video. Rappler has a patented user engagement model that puts a mood meter on every story. Looking at the mood navigator in the middle of the front page, the story that's gotten the most votes is Commission Corrects Error on Mayweather vs. Pacquiao Scorecard. It has 73% of readers feeling angry, while 7% are happy. Today, most people are angry. That's a wrap for today, Tuesday, May 5th, 2015. Visit Rappler.com for the latest news here and around the world. Check out our other shows, SciTech for You and Rappler Talk. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Ai Makraig, as we say at Rappler, tomorrow begins today.